huge ships aren't built all at once, like assembling a Lego model. They're actually constructed in modular sections and then put together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The process starts with detailed digital designs dividing the ship into smaller, manageable sections called blocks. These blocks are typically built indoors, resembling giant metal boxes, often containing multiple decks and even pre-fitted cabins. Each block is meticulously constructed using specialized equipment like laser cutters, welding robots, and hydraulic presses to bend steel plates into the desired shapes. Once the blocks are ready, they're transported to a dry dock, a gigantic flooded basin where the ship takes shape. Powerful cranes, sometimes the largest mobile machines on Earth, carefully lift and position each block like puzzle pieces, joining them together with high-strength welds. This process continues layer by layer, gradually forming the colossal structure of the ship. Here's how it works. 1. Steel cutting. The process starts with cutting huge steel plates into precise shapes using lasers or plasma cutters. These plates are then bent into the desired curves using hydraulic presses or rollers. Two, block building. The bent steel plates are welded together to form smaller sections called blocks. These blocks are like building blocks, but they can be the size of a four-story building. Each block contains various components like the hull structure, internal framing, and some piping or wiring. Three, dry dock assembly. The blocks are transported to a giant dry dock, which is essentially a giant bathtub that can be emptied of water. Once in the dry dock, Massive cranes carefully lift and assemble the blocks like a puzzle, joining them with high-strength welds. Precision is key, even the smallest misalignments can be disastrous for a ship's stability, so the construction process is incredibly precise. Safety is paramount, shipyards have strict safety protocols in place to protect workers from the hazards of working with large machinery and heavy metals. Technology plays a big role, computer-aided design, CAD, and 3D modeling are used extensively to plan and optimize the construction process.
4. Interior fit out. Once the basic structure is assembled, the interior fit out begins. This involves installing everything from cabins and restaurants on cruise ships to engines and cargo holds on cargo ships. This can take months or even years, depending on the complexity of the ship. Five, testing and launch. Finally, the ship undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its seaworthiness and compliance with safety regulations. Once everything checks out, the dry dock is flooded and the ship is launched into the water for the first time. The size of the blocks and the number used will vary depending on the size and type of ship. Smaller ships might only have a few dozen blocks, while the largest cruise ships can have hundreds. Technology plays a big role. Computer-aided design, CAD, and 3D modeling are used extensively to plan and optimize the construction process. Some shipyards use specialized techniques like modular construction, where pre-built sections are brought together for final assembly which can speed up the process. The MV Tokiti is a 144-car ferry that operates in Washington State's Puget Sound. It is the first of the Olympic-class ferries, which were built by Vigor Industrial in Seattle. The Tokiti was delivered to Washington State Ferries in June 2014 and entered service on the clinton mukilteo route. The Tokiti is 362 feet 3 inches long and 83 feet 2 inches wide. It has a draft of 24 feet 6 inches and a displacement of 3,499 long tons. The ferry is powered by two Wurzela 16 V32L diesel engines that produce a total of 5,560 horsepower. It has a maximum speed of 16 knots and can carry up to 1,500 passengers and 144 cars. The Tokiti is named after the Orca Whale, also known as the Killer Whale. The Orca is a symbol of the Pacific Northwest and is a popular attraction for whale watchers in Puget Sound. The Tokiti is one of the busiest ferries in the Washington State Ferries fleet, carrying over 1 million passengers and 300,000 vehicles each year. Here are some additional facts about the MV Tokiti. It was the first ferry in the world to be equipped with a hybrid propulsion system. It has a number of green features, such as LED lighting and water-saving toilets. It is accessible to people with disabilities. The Travlift is an important part of STP Shipyard Palma's operations, and it helps to make the shipyard a world-class destination for superyachts. Check out the spectacular video of STP's 1 trillion ton Travlift assembly summarized in a few minutes. The biggest Travlift in Europe.
STP's 1,000-ton travlift is a truly impressive piece of machinery. It is one of the largest and most powerful travlifts in the world, and it is capable of lifting and transporting yachts and other vessels up to 1,000 tons in weight. The travlift is made by Italian company, STP Shipyard Palma, and it is used at their shipyard in Palma de Mallorca, Spain. The shipyard is a popular destination for superyachts, and the travlift is essential for lifting these massive vessels out of the water for maintenance and repairs. The travlift is 138 meters long and 40 meters wide, and it has a lifting capacity of 1,000 tons. It is powered by a series of electric motors, and it can travel at a speed of up to 10 kilometers per hour. Here are some of the key features of STP's 1,000-ton travlift, lifting capacity of 1,000 tons length of 138 meters width of 40 meters speed of up to 10 kilometers per hour powered by electric motors used at STP Shipyard Palma, Spain. Electric motors, which make it very quiet and efficient. It's also equipped with a number of safety features, such as automatic overload protection and emergency stop buttons. STP's Travlift is an impressive piece of machinery that is essential for the operation of their shipyard. It allows them to handle even the largest and most challenging boats, and it is a testament to their commitment to providing their customers with the best possible service.